Iowa. It's not just the place you move to after you faked your death. <laughs> it's also the first state to vote in the Democratic primaries. So this weekend, practically every Democrat was there fishing for votes. On the ground in Iowa this weekend, an all-out blitz. Thank you. 19 of the Democratic candidates swarming the Hawkeye State. In Battleground, Iowa, 19 Democrats lining up, each getting five minutes to make their pitch. It's been a pleasure speed dating with you tonight. If you want a second date, go to timryanforamerica.com. <laughs> oh, man, I wish actual first dates ended with someone saying that. <laughs> if you want to learn more about me, please visit my website. <laughs> you can read my 10-point plan on making you orgasm, as well as my one-point plan on making me orgasm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> but that's right. This Sunday was jam-packed. The entire event, 19 candidates, and they all had five minutes each to speak, which is kind of crazy. Five minutes is not enough time to make your case, all right? It's barely enough time to make a lean cuisine. Uh, <laughs> unless you do what I do and just eat it frozen, yeah. <laughs> no, there's nothing more refreshing than an ice-cold shrimp Alfredo on a hot day. It's... <laughs> it's... You guys should try it. Don't try it. So, with only five minutes to make an impression on the world's most powerful white voters, all the Democrats took to the stage to deliver their best punchlines. The opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes math. Thank you very much, Iowa. I am your senator next door, and I can see Iowa from my porch. <laughs> Look at that show that this president's created, whatever you want to call it, reality show, horror show, game show. Help me change the channel. He claims to be the best president we've seen in a generation. Well, I say let's call Barack Obama, because that's identity fraud. I will always be real with you. I will be bold without the bold. <laughs> wow. That was a lot of silence. <laughs> he, like, said it, and it was just like, everyone was like, are you, are you gonna, are you... <laughs> like, from now on, librarians aren't gonna shush people. They're just gonna play that clip <laughs> of Eric Swalwell. <laughs> and by the way, Andrew Yang, Good line, but the opposite of Donald Trump isn't an Asian man who likes math. It's a Mexican lady who likes her children. Come on now. <laughs> That's the opposite. <laughs> now, if you're a candidate who only has a few minutes to connect with the crowd, you've got to make every moment count, which means picking walk-on music that tells us a bit about who you are. And please note, this is actual, real audio, all right? This is real audio from when each candidate walked up on stage. Please welcome Senator Kamala Harris. <laughs> Senator Bernie Sanders. Elizabeth Warren. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Congressman Tim Ryan. Ain't nobody tell me Thank you. What? <laughs> Old Town Road? <laughs> That's your walk-on song? Are you running for president or trying to go viral on TikTok? What are you doing? <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love that song, but Old Town Road doesn't make you sound like a professional anything. <laughs> like, if I walked in on my accountant and he was playing that song while doing my taxes, I'd be like, uh, you know what, I'll just take my chances with the IRS. 